how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. I'm Larry. I'm your host. And today we're going to be talking about a popular fountain pen brand, the Visconti. This is the one and only the Homo Sapien Elegance MIDI fountain pen. Eh, not all like that. But anyway, it comes in this box. Right? Can you see it? Good. Standard Visconti box. Uh, and when you open this lovely box... It's what's inside. Another box, but it's the pin case. And I heard that giant rolling around. And it's more of a clam shape. There you go. The clam has opened up, and you've got your Visconti book inside. It tells you about pins and other fabulous Visconti pins that can cost fifty thousand plus dollars okay so here's the pin right here so I'll set all this aside and we'll get this out come on clam get out good because once it's in the clam it stays in the clam so here we go and this is the midi not that big long one the long one is a little the, the previous one the large one with the lava and all that good stuff is just a little tab longer than this. But here we go. And it comes with a little card in the clip. And the card says, Cristo Palladium Nib 23K PD950 Dream Touch. And it says on the back, Don't Press. The nib will follow your dreams. Cool. So, here is the pin, right up in here. Yep, we're going to start at the top of the finio, and it has the Visconti logo up here. Of course, it had that uh, My Pin logo thing where you can take that off and put your birthstone, initials, or whatever. And then it uh, has this fabulous, beautiful clip. Uh, and the Visconti... It's not as pronounced as it has been, like it's been just enamel finish over it. I do like the screen, uh, the uh, clip, nice and springy. I like that. like that clip a lot. Uh, and then it comes with some silver trim bands on top of the cap, on the bottom of the barrel, and then there's nothing below the cap. But... At the center of the pen, you have the Visconti, and I'll use my glass. You have the Homo Sapien. Ta-da! And that's it, baby, with a V for victory. Visconti. Sorry about that. I get a little carried away, don't I? Oh, don't, don't judge me. Please don't. And I'm looking for my friends. There they are. Anyway, this is a review, a serious review. Can you dig it? I can dig it because it's my pen, not yours, mine. I bought it with my money. Well, I'm broke, but I stay broke because that dang rabbit hole. Arr! Anyway, so this pen, when you put the cap on, watch me now. You will push it in and turn. Push in and turn. Push in and turn. Got that? Very simple. And it stays secure. No problems whatsoever. I have been writing with this pen for a while now. I try to write with all my pens before I give a review to see how they hold up. Not just in writing, but how the, the, the uh, cap holds up. How the whole pen in general works for me. So anyway... It's on cap it, and yes, it does post. Now, you got to push it in there a little bit of force to make sure it's going to stay there, because if not, it's going to fall out. So, you don't want this cap to fall out, okay? So, uh, the weight of this pen is not a whole lot. It's like 36.4 Gs. So, let's go down the barrel, and... Uh, 
they have a very small grip section. And my fingers are small, but I hold it right about here. So, you know, there's nothing that's going to be annoying to my fingers. And you can hold it up in there if you want, and it's still not going to bother you. I've written with this pen for long writing sections. When you go down to the nib, that's where the magic happens. 23K PD 950. Frenzy. Frenzy. How do you pronounce Frenz. it? Frenz. Frenz. That's Italy. And the barrel screws off, and it's got a Visconti converter. And it does have some ink left in it. And this screws on, which I like. That way you, you're going to know it is secure and it's going to stay put in your pen. Now I should have enough ink in here to do the writing review. So let's get on with it. Uh, get everything right. I guess I will say this. Um, when you cap the pen, it's 5.40 inches. When you post the pen, it is 6.8 inches. And the material of the pen is Lucite. So, that tells you about the pen. And remember, on the cap, you have to push down, turn, and it closes. With the filling system, it's a converter. So we got all that good stuff away. Now, come to the very important part, the writing. All right, let's set that over here. Get the rodeo paper out. And here we go. All right. And this is a medium nib. And the wet test, of course, it's going to be juicy, 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 wet, beautiful nib. And the ink, diamond turquoise. All right, now for today's quote. And after I write the quote, I'll let Mr. Announcer do the honors and read it. I'm trying to read and write. So it's not the pen, it's me. The nib is a dream. And Mr. Announcer. Your present circumstances don't determine where you can go. 
they merely determine where you start. Nito Cubane. Yeah. There you have it. So, the pen writes extremely well. No flow issues. No hard pressing. I'm just letting it go on its own. Very nice nib. Very nice pen. Um, I do like the converter in the pen. Uh, for me, a converter is much more simpler and easier to clean out than a piston filler. Piston fillers are cool, don't get me wrong. Yeah, don't get the hate mail. But I'm okay with the converter uh, and if it's Conti. In fact, for me, I would prefer a converter. Like I said, easy to clean, doesn't take all that much time. On the pistons, it takes more time. End of story, been there, done that. So, uh, yeah, nice pen. Nice midi size pen. Works well, looks great, feels great. Other than that, this one made the grade. Uh, that's all there is to this video. I hope you got something out of it. Don't forget to hit that like button. That kind of helps me with the rating. Rate, 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 rate. So anyway, shut up. Okay, I'm back. So anyway, hit that subscribe button, please. And join the Fountain Pin Club. And don't forget, my friends, on a serious note now for the real side. Don't text and drive. You can save somebody else's life as well as your own. Be safe.